Folklorico is the Mexican traditional folk dances. There are over 400 variations of folklorico dances. As for Sinaloa that we have back here, it's more colorful with flowers just because it embraces this, the culture of Sinaloa specifically. And also if you go to like a little market in a specific region of Mexico, you will see these same colors. It's just part of what Mexico is all about. They're all very colorful. You could potentially learn all the footwork in just like two days. <laughs> and then it's all about muscle memory and from there like it will repeat it's just about combinations afterwards but our newest members they literally learned everything in two days we were like wow what enticed me to join Folklorico was honestly just trying to get closer to my roots and to my traditions people just make me feel like I'm at home at first I couldn't even do the, the basic step of doing doubles which is literally just tapping your feet twice on the ground because I didn't have enough rhythm and stamina for it yet but as the weeks progressed, I started getting all those steps, zapateo de tres, borrachos. Whenever I put that skirt on, it just like, it was a defining moment for myself of being, you know what, this is what I want to do. Being able to do that type of skirt work was just, it made me feel so pretty and so graceful. It's exciting because you wouldn't expect A&M and Folklorico to be combined. Being an Aggie is about continuing traditions, honoring them overall, and we're doing that for Mexico in itself, and that goes hand in hand with the Aggie value. As we're on our way to become a more Hispanic campus, I think it's very important for us to hold those traditions of Hispanic culture like Folklorico close to Texas a &M.